What's up YouTube? I'm going to give you some insight into the Godhead uh, revelatory. Uh, I'm going to help and I'm also going to help you connect some uh, scriptures. Okay. Acts 2-4. Pretty powerful uh, event happening here. This is actually uh, Joel's prophecy of Old Testament Joel the prophet 2, chapter 2. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all in one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. And there appeared unto them cloves of tongue like as a fire, and it set upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began speaking in other tongues as the Spirit gives the utterance. Now this is old, like I said, it's Old Testament prophetic coming to pass. It's also the beginning of the new birth, the Great Commission. It's also what John Baptist talked about in Luke 3.16. <clears throat> There's all kind of things going on here. But I want to show you something. Acts 2, four, as the Spirit gives them the utterance. Okay, the Spirit brought the Holy Ghost baptism. The sign was the tongues shooting out of their mouth. Now check this out. 2 Corinthians 3. Um, it started at verse uh, 16. Nevertheless, when it shall turn to the Lord, the veil shall be taken away. Now the Lord is that Spirit. That's what I want you to key in on. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, there's liberty. When somebody's getting filled with the baptism of the Holy Ghost, it brings joy because it's Jesus in Spirit. And His His presence brings joy like just talking about it i'm getting that i'm feeling things i'm getting happy the lord drops a couple scriptures in my head he's done it and then i know i need to make a video on this that's why i'm making this but uh it's been on my mind since yesterday let me read it again nevertheless when it shall turn to the lord the veil shall be taken away the veil you're under you know the veil the the blindness now the Lord is that Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. But we all with open face, beholding in a glass the glory of the Lord, are changed into the same image from glory to glory. Remember, he's the firstborn among many brethren. This is a spiritual birth. He was resurrected as the firstborn. And then we, subsequently, when he gives us of his Spirit, which is life, bread, peace, everlasting. See, we we partake, are changed into the same image from glory to glory, even as by the Spirit of the Lord. Now, verse 17 says, Now the Lord is that Spirit, which is the Father, Son, Holy Ghost, the Godhead. I'm explaining it. It's not three people. It's not three spirits. It's not three persons. It's one spirit and it's one flesh. Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Father, Spirit, Son, Flesh, Holy Ghost, Spirit. Same, different functions. Father, Holy Ghost, different functions, same spirit. And this is telling you, the Lord Jesus Christ is that spirit. Now the Lord, Second Corinthians, it's going to take a while for you to see this, but you use the scriptures. The scriptures reveal all of this. Second Corinthians 3.17 Now the Lord is that Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Okay? Now let's look at John Baptist, what I, uh, Luke 3. He's got a lot of stuff in here that's awesome. Verse 12, Then came also publicans to be baptized, and said unto him, Master, what shall we do? See, they were coming to him for leadership, spiritual leadership. And then he's going into stuff, do no violence, because he's talking to soldiers also. Verse 15, as And as the people were in expectation, and all men mused in their hearts of John, whether he were the Christ or not, John said, John answered, saying unto them, Excuse me, I indeed baptize you with water, but one mightier cometh than I cometh. The latchets of whose shoes I am not worthy to loose. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and fire. Who is he talking about? Does a spirit wear shoes? No, he's talking about Jesus Christ. 
Okay, he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and fire. Why? How does Jesus baptize you with the Holy Ghost and fire? Because he's the Holy Ghost and fire. He's the Father and the Holy Ghost. Let's go back to 2 Corinthians 3.17. Now the Lord is that Spirit. The Lord is that Spirit. And now you got John uh, Luke 3.16. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and fire. This is John, ba John the Baptist sent to baptize, forerunning the new birth, explaining to you that Jesus Christ is the Holy Ghost baptizer. Connect the dots. I'm going a little bit slow. I want to show you all this stuff. I'm going to, Joel 2, the prophet, Old Testament, Joel 2. 27, ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God. Remember, there's only one Lord. One, And what's John say in John 4, 24? God is a person? No, God is a spirit. That I am the Lord your God, and none else, and my people shall never be ashamed. There's all kind of stuff going on here. It shall come to pass that I will pour out my spirit, Upon all flesh. This is God saying, I'm going to give you my spirit. And your sons and daughters shall prophesy. He's, and also upon the servants and upon the handmaidens in those days will I pour out my spirit. This is direct reference to Acts 2 Pentecost. When they were filled with the Holy Ghost and began speaking in other tongues. Now there's something... Uh, Something God showed me when I was talking. I just forgot it. I want to show you. If, if that if there's a scripture that clicked in my head and it left as soon as it came in. You shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, that I am the Lord your God, and none else beside me. My people should never be ashamed. He told me Matthew 1. I'm going to click there real quick. This is from the Holy Ghost for you. Matthew chapter 1, the very first chapter of the New Testament. I'll show it. I'll click back. After I show you. Matthew 1. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise. as When as his mother with Mary was a spouse to Joseph. Before they came together she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. See? The Holy Ghost is the father of Jesus. Now if you think it's two different spirits or two different people. Well he's got two daddies now. Illegitimate. No. <laughs> no. It's the, the Lord is the spirit. He, he he went in there himself, and he was born himself a son. Remember in John, uh, John 1, 14, <clears throat> the word, John 1, 1, in the beginning was the word, the word was with God, the word was God. John 1, 14, and the word became flesh. It's so simple. There is no trinity. That's hogwash. There is no trinity. Verse 23, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is, you know the scripture, God with us. This son is God with us. This is exactly what Isaiah 9, 6 says. See, the, the scriptures, they're endless. I, the, the video would be 10 hours long, and I still won't reach all the scriptures. I don't want to bore people to death with eight hour videos. Okay? But I'm just showing you these little things. Isaiah 9 6. Check it out. It says uh, Matthew 1 23 is Isaiah 9 6. Same with John 14 9. Is describing in Isaiah 9 6. Check these scriptures out I'm telling you. I'm not it takes too much time to go through this. Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son. And they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. Do you see how Jesus Christ is the Spirit of the living God? The Word of God that was made flesh? Do you see? There is no three. There's three functions of the Godhead. Yes, Father, Son, Holy Ghost. But there's not three people. There's not. It's just functions. It's... You can call it a mode. You call it whatever you want. But biblically, the Holy Ghost is a spirit. And 
the Father is a spirit. Okay? It's the same spirit. It talks about that in Colossians. Or Corinthians. But I just showed you in Corinthians 3, uh, 17, it says the Lord is that spirit. There's only one spirit, folks. There's only one God. Isaiah goes heavily into this subject. One of these days I'm going to go in there and show you a hundred scriptures. Now, I'll show you ten, at least, out of Isaiah. That emphatically, the Lord is one. The Lord is one. That's why, that's why when you go into the New Testament, the Bible apostles baptized in Jesus' name for the remission of sins because he's the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Matthew 28, Mark 16, Luke 24, John 3. The Great Commission. We all must be born again is the first pattern. We see that is Acts 2.38. Okay, that's all. God bless. I hope your revelatory lights are coming on. This isn't the gospel according to Ron. This is the Bible. <laughs> this is the Bible. Yet how many preachers preach this? Not very many. How many preachers baptize in Jesus' name? Not very many. How many people get the Holy Ghost? More. People are starting to get the Holy Ghost more. Not so much in the Catholic Church, but some. You know, even in the Baptist Church. But not so much in the Lutheran, you know, all the... The denominational, you know, but, you know, yet, God, it's all right here in the scriptures, folks. There's one gospel. There's one way to heaven. Jesus said few will find it. Few. He said, strive, Matthew 7, to enter in at the straight gate. For broad is the way. Many, 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 many religions will take you astray. And go into hell, he said. But he said, few is going to find this way. But narrow is the gate, and straight is the way that leads to eternal life. And few there be that find it. Thank God he showed me this. I can give it to you. I found it. And I'm trying to give it to the religious people that are on the broad roads. you got to put all this together. Put it together. If the dude tomorrow, Sunday, if the dude doesn't baptize in Jesus' name, he don't know what he's talking about. And he is on one of those broad roads. Because nobody is baptized in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Ghost in the whole Bible. You can go from Matthew to Revelation, and you will find zero people baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. That's how I know I'm right. Because the apostles baptized in Jesus' name. And if you don't get baptized in Jesus' name, you are probably not going to make it. I don't care if you prophesy. Or my old, one of my old prophet friends used to say, prophesy. <laughs> but uh, I'm just playing around. But I'm trying to help people wake up. Okay? This is a hard job. When when you get people that have uh, junk teaching in their brain from religion and not scripture, it, it's probably easier cutting parts off a locomotive that's been in an accident. I used to do that. <laughs> but this... That was easy compared to convincing people that the scriptures are the truth and the religion's a lie. <laughs> it's easy. It's easier. I used to do heavy construction, 400 pound windows. I had work in Chicago. You need seven years building trades. That was easier than helping people see this gospel truth. I don't know why. I don't know why. But it's right here. It's Satan. It's it's satanic influence. Religion is satanic. Most all of it. Most all of it. I'm not a religious person. I am a person that's trying to go to heaven, trying to follow the spirit of the living God through the word of God. It's called the way. It was never called, Jesus called it the church. But Satan joins the church too. So how do you know what's what? you got to go to the scriptures. 
I didn't plan on doing none of this. This is all God. Love you. God bless you. I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to help you. You can lead the camel, right, to the water. Try to make him drink, right, or the horse, right? God bless. That's all. Love you. <laughs>